Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of Ode on Solitude, a poem by Alexander Pope. Alexander Pope is widely considered the most prominent English poet of the early 18th century. He wrote Ode on Solitude in 1700 and at that time he was only 12 years old. This ode praises people who live simple and solitary lives and it also argues that the happiest people are those who are self-sufficient and unconcerned with opinions or recognition of others. Because many people are worried about other person's opinions and they also think that only if they live a life where they are recognized by others, then it marks that they have lived. But Alexander Pope is of a different opinion. And he also says that fortunate person is one whose desires and concerns are limited to his inherited plot of land. That is, he should be happy with the land which he has received from his ancestors and he must be satisfied to breathe the air where he was born and live on his own bit of earth, whose cows provide him with milk, his crops with food, his sheep with clothing and his trees should offer him shade in the summer and provide wood for fire in the winter. And he says, blessed is the person who without worry, without any problem, sees hours, days and years slipping gently by and who is physically healthy and whose mind is at ease and who is quiet during the day and who is deep asleep at night. And his life must consist of a mixture of hard work and relaxation, of pleasant leisure, of purity and of deep thought. And he says that that is the way he would love to live. That is out of sight, no one knowing him. And he does not want anyone to mourn for him when he dies. He just wants to slip away from this world and leave no headstone to mark his grave. And he says, only such a simple life is a blessed life. Now come, let's see what he says in the poem. Happy the man whose wish and care, a few paternal acres bound, content to breathe his need to wear in his own ground. He says, happy should be the man whose wish and whatever he needs, all he should get from the land which his ancestors have left for him. And he must be able to breathe the air which is in his native country. And he must be able to live in the same place where he was born. Whose herds with milk, whose fields with bread, whose flocks supply him with attire, whose trees in summer yield him shade in winter fire. He should have enough herd to give him milk which is sufficient for him. And he must have field from where he can grow the crops and make his own bread. And he should have flocks which can give him the dress which he needs. And the trees of his should give him shade in the summer and wood to make fire in the winter and keep him warm. Blessed who can unconcernedly find hours, days and years slide softly away. That is years should pass without giving him any problem. He should not be worried about the day or hours or years which pass by. In health of body, he should have a healthy body. He should have peace of mind. Quiet by day, sound sleep by night, study and ease. Here study means hard work and ease means delight, taking everything very easy. Together mixed sweet recreation and innocence which must, which most does please with meditation. He should have an innocent mind. He should not have a cruel mind or a crooked mind. He must be able to sleep well in the night. He should be work, uh, working very hard and that should give him so much of happiness that he enjoys the recreation which happens in his life and he must pass his uh, life without any problem with the meditation in his mind. Thus, let me live unseen, unknown. So he wants to live a life where no one comes to see him and no one tends to even know him. He doesn't want anyone to be knowing him. Thus, unlamented, let me die. In this way, if he lives a life, when he dies, there won't be anyone to mourn for him. And he wants to steal from the world and not a stone, tell where I lie. Where I lie is, after death, he'll be lying in his graveyard. And he does not want any stone to mark his name. And he wants to leave the world without anyone being 
left to think about him or mourn for him this is what he has written here it's a beautiful poem by alexander pope if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe and support thank you